Reverend Wendy Silvers for laying the vibrational platform down. And it's a glorious day. It's a wonderful day. It's a magnificent day. But you know what? So many people don't even see it. They, they can't see it because their viewpoint of reality is so narrow. All they see is the emotions of their past, past experiences that cloud their perception, and they project those past experiences onto the screen called the future, and they have a very predictable future based on their past. When I say it's a glorious day, I'm saying that the power of the presence and the love and the beauty of the presence is everywhere in its fullness, and that by the ways and means of sacred meditation, you begin to go beyond what has been programmed in you subconsciously. It's called human interruptus. <laughs> you begin to interrupt those particular patterns that play over and over and over again until you live in the worst case scenario frequency. You live in the vibration of survival and basically live in the frequency of your mental habits. So many people are under the delusion and the illusion that there are certain things outside of themselves that are causing them sadness. It's like a cause and effect relationship. It's a lie. Most people are just experiencing their mental habit of consternation, fear, doubt, worry, anger, worry, uh, all manner of things. And then when things happen, the habit just jumps on those particular effects in the world and say, that's what's causing this. It's the other way around. The mental habit, definitely based on past experiences, have just cut a groove and then is ready to leap into emotional expression whenever something happens that something is that we do not like. You are more powerful than you think. You're way more powerful than the subjective grooves that have been cut over the years and the moods you get in. And you think those moods are controlling you. Stop it. Now, as I'm saying stop it, I know you can't. You can't just stop it. There has to be some type of spiritual practice in which you go beyond the... Uh, mere conscious wanting something and are able to go into the awareness of that which is timeless, beyond space, beyond time, have an awareness of the all as all, and then begin to allow those patterns to change based on the influence of you being more than you thought you were more than your parents thought you were, more than your teachers thought you were, more than your different relationships thought you were, more than you thought about yourself, so that you could actually come into a level of coherence around what the universal presence is thinking about you as a point of infinite potential. The imagination can't even wrap itself around infinite, can't even wrap itself around timeless. Yet, you're asked to sit, train the body to be still with an intention to wake up so that your transcendent nature, your timeless nature, begins to have, um, begins to be more real to you, even if it's nanoseconds, than the habitual mental expressions of those thought forms that you deem your identity and your reality. And so you sit to be liberated, to be free, to begin again, so that you can wake up and say it's a glorious day. It's wonderful. Does not mean you do not have the discernment to see that you're living in, in, in a world that is polarized, fear-driven, power-hungry, greedy people that are seeking to dominate the population, doesn't mean you don't know those things. But you become aware life always wins. 
Because life never works against itself. And anything that's going against life will be dethroned. And you will be participating in the dethronement of that which is inhibiting life through your awakened consciousness and then pure direction from intelligence itself as to what is yours to do on the planet. But you'll be doing it with the frequency of knowing that the race is already won, it's already done, not predestination, that's a whole other talk. But it's a participation in an infinite potential of which has not been written yet. But with your participation with the infinite, then your particular uniqueness gets to express in ways beyond your imagination because it's infinite. Okay, this is a whole lot of material. <laughs> Let me get back to meditation. But anyway, those, those are the ramifications of meditation that I'm talking about. You get to actually walk in the world unafraid. You get to walk in the world and, and, and um, actually not be influenced by the world. You get to be an influencer that is not how many likes you have. You get to be influenced by the vibration that you carry. All of this, SYBD, all of this, sit your butt down. <coughs> Penetrate with passion. Escape. And then you'll notice your mental and emotional habits that will leap up to serve you when anything goes bump in the night. Just, ooh, I'm afraid. Ooh, I'm mad. Ooh, I'm worried. Oh, I hate that. You'll just see it spin out. And then after a while, you'll say, no, I'm not letting you do this to my body. I'm not letting those toxic chemicals flow. Yeah, I don't like that. But so what? I'm free. Now I'm an instrument for right action that's appropriate to the moment. Hmm, I love life. It's a glorious day. Take our shoulders and squeeze them to the ears. Squeeze every aspect of your body temple. Do the opposite of relaxation. Release. And let us continue in the consciousness magnificently established by the Reverend Wendy Silvers and the Reverend Coco Stewart. Let's be still. Today, let us have our hands, thumb and forefinger touching, but hands facing downward as a sign of bringing the timeless into time, heaven to earth. Mm. And we embrace an intention to wake up to our glorious nature. to wake up from the mental habits that spin as an experience of reality. No, we want to be aware of reality as it really is, not merely through our past perception of life. And so our attention is Embracing the intention and the sacred breath, which is happening presently. We sit with an awareness that there is an eternal broadcast of the spirit of the living God that is perpetual and forever. And we're here to catch it, not with eyes or ears, but with our consciousness. And we sit for the very first time as this iteration of ourself to wake up to the glorious nature of our life, the life of all beings, the life of this planet, life itself. Let us sit.
be still and know that I am God in the midst of you, says the Lord of hosts, the great law of the universe, aliveness. You're gaining dominion over your attention. The attention is embracing your intention for freedom, liberation, awakeness.
where's your attention? You are pure awareness, the faculty of attentiveness. You're attentive to your intention to wake up and the breath, which is happening presently, never in the future, never in the past, every breath is present. Another moment, stillness, quietude, silence, attention, freedom. Give, that, give ourselves permission to extend our awareness into the feeling tone of gratitude and thanksgiving. Notice that you can do this. You can actually expand your awareness into the field of gratitude. If you need a little help, you just think about something to be grateful for until one day you don't need a little help. You can just come into the feeling tone of gratitude and thanksgiving simply because you exist, because you're alive. Come with me now into this field of gratitude, this attitude in the altitude of gratitude. I'm so grateful. 
that I'm able to recognize that life is everywhere, the presence of God is oozing everywhere through the plants and the flowers, growing through the concrete, through individuals that are having remissions at this particular moment of any particular illness or sense of lack and limitation. Their life is indeed beginning again. We can recognize this presence everywhere with every breath that we take and feel such a pure sense of unity with the presence. That it's not blasphemous to say our life is indeed the life of God. And it is from this awareness that the word of God is spoken. Vibrational frequency of wholeness, order, beauty, love, intelligence, life itself this word is spoken for each and every one of us with the full realization that there's only one of us revealing itself as the many. As we rise up with the great awareness and the greater readiness of our oneness with God, we draw all unto this higher frequency and the world is changing right now because of it. Our private world and intricate design of beauty and love, intelligence and ecstasy is activated. And we become a dynamic clearing house that wherever we go, everyone is activated to their highest potential. Because that's what we're looking for and that's what we see and that's what we call forth. We call forth a bright day. Today is a beautiful day. We live it fully. And we allow ourselves to know before we can command, we must first obey. So we surrender and give thanks to the great God of the universe. And with the word spoken, it is a command. Let there be light and love and beauty and intelligence, harmonizing prosperity and perfect health throughout all of our lives right now. And it's happening now. It's happening right now. And so it is. And so we let it be. Amen. And amen. And ashe. As you open the physical eyes, whoever you are with, and just bow to them and say, now so be it. Take responsibility and be it so be that frequency that vibration be the attitude of gratitude thank you so much for participating in the way of meditation service every week we meet here for the sheer purpose of becoming still and silent to open ourselves up to insights and revelations about our intrinsic freedom and joy and intelligence thank you for joining this is your opportunity to celebrate your life and to celebrate the life of our community uh, through generosity, through giving. Whether you, you've evolved to the point where you're tithing on a regular basis, donation, offering, giving, whatever language you have embraced at this particular moment, jump into it with passion and power. We stop in this moment and we give. We give thanks that we are alive. We infuse our gift with love and gratitude for this community and all that it seeks to do and is doing for the awakeness of humanity. We bless this community and see that it has all of its needs met. Ministries, programs, projects, staff, equipment, everything necessary for the fulfillment of the perfect idea of Agape International. We see it, we support it, and we give thanks for it. Amen. Veterans, you already know how to give, and I just want to just thank you for your generosity, uh, stabilizing, maintaining this community for over the years. Absolutely appreciate that. Veterans, you know what to do. Do it. Many of you are auto-tithing. Many of you have set your text to donate, to give on a regular basis. So, that is so appreciated. Now, 
This is how you give, everyone. You can take your phone right this moment and text the word give to 424-321-6243. Everything I'm about to say, it's going to be on the screen for those who are sighted. 424-321-6243. Text the word give. Your phone will prompt you. You choose the amount and the regularity of your gifting. If you would like to go to our website and give on our website, go to agapelive.com. You see the word donation up at the top there. Touch that with your cursor. Don't curse. Bless. It's a blesser. Don't let it be a cursor. Let it be a blesser. Touch it. Donation. Follow the instructions. Make your donation online if that's how you want to give. If you'd like to mail it in, Checks and money orders are made out to Agape International. You mail it to Agape International, 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. You can mail it in. It comes in on time. So appreciated. If you're on my personal Facebook page, the one that says public figure, if you're on um, Agape's, Facebook page. You can give to Agape on either one of those pages. The donation buttons are set for you to give directly to Agape International. So if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, or Agape's YouTube channel, you can go to any of those other platforms and give right away. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Do it now. And call forth the Reverend Julie Moret to highlight some of the wonderful things happening at Agape. Thanks, Rev. Good morning. You can visit agapelive.com for details on all items mentioned and all times are Pacific time. Mark your calendars. Tell your friends. Join us for our next in-person service on Choir Sunday, August 28th. We loved, loved, loved seeing so many of you last Sunday, and we're doing it again. Choir Sunday, August 28th, meditation at 11 a.m., followed by fellowship service at 11.30 a.m. A deep and heartfelt thank you to all who joined us via live stream and in person to celebrate Reverend Michael's birthday last Sunday. His heart was filled to overflowing. We loved seeing you there, and please note services will, as always, continue being live streamed. We are grateful for all those who served last week to make the in-person service celebration a success, and we continue to assess our on-site guest, res re guest relations fulfillment requirements. We're looking forward to opening again on a regular basis and are recruiting those interested in serving locally. So email us at guestrelations at agapelive.com to join our guest, our Zoom sacred service orientation. So if you're interested in serving, please email us at guestrelations at agapelive.com. Today, Teen Agape meets online at 11.15 a.m. Click Teen Agape banner on our website to register. Preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at 2 o'clock. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30. Both are live on Zoom. To join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs, email revleon at agapelive.com. The Crisis Support Clinic offers Zoom mini counseling sessions every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive details for your first come, first serve, complimentary one-on-one -on -one session with a licensed practitioner, email crisissupport at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large. Anyone may attend. And this Tuesday, Laughter Yoga meets on Zoom at 6 p.m. It's facilitated by Agape practitioner Martin Weech. It's on our website. Click the banner to register. No experience is necessary. Freedom Path Ministry Zooms this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Release any sense of addiction, old beliefs, or attachments. Go to our website. Click on the Freedom Path banner at the top of the page for more information and to register. This is a gift to the community and all are welcome. Monday through Saturday, you know we've got you. We've got prayer at 8 a.m., meditation at noon. Both are on a Agape's Facebook Live and Agape Spiritual Community Gatherings meet at 5.30 p.m. on Fridays, connecting community for an enriching, inspiring gathering led by our practitioners and ministers. Email scg at agapelive.com for the deets. And for years, Reverend Michael has taught about the components of good, healthy living. Our spiritual life is enhanced with daily meditation, affirmative prayer, and fellowship with open-hearted, like-minded individuals. Our mental and emotional body is purified with study 
forgiveness, and high intentionality. And our physical body is taken care of with exercise that fits our uniqueness, proper nourishment, proper hydration, and ideal supplementation. Speaking of ideal supplementation, the Rev has finally released AdaptoZen in partnership with NutriRise. AdaptoZen is comprised of the various superfood formulas Reverend Michael has been taking for years to maintain his health and energy. All condensed into one product line, AdaptoZen's Superfood Greens and the Vitamin D3 plus K2 drops boost your energy, mood, and immunity and give your body temple the high quality nutrients it needs to thrive so you can maintain your health and live optimally, especially during time of high stress. Go to Nutrize.com, click on AdaptoZen, and get your 10% off your first order. Many blessings to you. Thank you, Reverend Julie. As you are now giving and supporting the spiritual community, let's embrace that in prayer for a second. Let us give thanks for the tremendous love. Money is the shadow of love. Where there's an outflow of love, your harmonizing prosperity and money will follow. So in this moment of generosity, we know that the promise and the promissory notes are being transmuted into ministries and staff and all that is necessary for the growing of the spiritual community that's embracing the globe in a very powerful way. Let us all feel right now all of our needs are met. We give thanks for this and allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. I'm going to call forth the Reverend Jason Davion Mitchell so that he can bring forth another level of this powerful message. Mm, thank you, Reverend Michael. Good morning, Agape. Ah, how many of you caught the 11 a.m. service last week. It was extraordinary. During that service, we had the opportunity to celebrate Reverend Michael's birthday. And we are blessed to call Agape International Spiritual Center our home and to call Reverend Michael our teacher. This year, uh, the celebration of our founder and spiritual director, we take a moment and give appreciation for all that he has offered us and continues to offer us in our lives. Every year, just as this one, Reverend Michael asks in place of birthday gifts that we each make a gift in support of Agape. Your generous contribution will provide opportunities to share Agape spiritual teachings with the global community giving full access to the limitless power and promise of spiritual freedom. Spiritual education and oneness teaching are ultimately what will heal the challenges that currently face our world. During the past year, the demand for expanded access to Agape teachings has significantly increased, and we are making a substantial investment in what's going to take, uh, excuse me, in what it's going to take to offer access to spiritual education to our community across the globe and answer the community's calls for teaching to be translated in many languages. If you're streaming with us online right now, there may be a small town that you're from that's you know, not Los Angeles or Beverly Hills, California. You might be in a country that uh, people may not have ever visited, that may not be some resort area or a place where everybody's familiar with. Drop that in the chat right now. Because what I want you to see is this is a global community. It's not just a local community, even though we started here in this region. We touch the world. Not just me, not just Reverend Michael, not just our teachers, but you as a community. When we come together and pray, when we come together and raise the vibration high, when we send in our donations and contributions, we are telling the world, we are telling nigh the universe what matters and what we stand for. Your contributions to this community allow this teaching to go out further than we ever envisioned, maybe in our idea of our little lives but it is certainly the vision that Reverend Michael has been holding for Agape. So no matter where you are in the world, you can be a part of this. Our goal during this celebration is collectively to raise at least $150,000 or more for Agape above and beyond our weekly tithes and offering and donations. So we want you to say yes to you and share your gift with the Agape community. We know that this is the best way to honor Reverend Michael as it is truly a gift to us all. Now here are the ways you can make your gift this year. 
You can text to donate using the number 424-321-6243. Now be sure to enter the dollar amount and the word B-D-A-Y, B-Day. Go to agapelive.com and click on the birthday banner. That way you'll follow those instructions. And on Facebook Live, use the direct links and the information provided in your chat window right now. Should be right over there. No gift is too small. $10, $20 makes a big impact. Some of you are able to give more, and through your generosity, you ensure that during this critical time, others across the globe have access to expanded agape offerings. There's so much about what I'm talking about right now that is absolutely changing somebody else's life because this is going to go out on the stream. It's going to go on another platform. It's going to be in a book or it's going to be shared and the world is going to be a better place because of your generosity. We thank you now. Reverend Michael. Thank you, right, Reverend Jason Mitchell. So there you, you, have, you have heard it. This is your way to absolutely support our community. Remember, we only have two major fundraisers a year for our community. We have no uh, corporate sponsorship beyond that. It's the weekly giving that supports the community. We have two fundraisers a year, and this is one in July in honor of the founder, Michael B. Beckwith. So thank you for giving in that, uh, 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 to Agape in that way. And let me just say thank you for the, the letters and birthday cards and uh, many things that have come in for the last couple of weeks in honor of my birthday. Absolutely appreciate it. Some of you have sent personal gifts to me, and thank you. God bless you for all of that. And today, if you have not made your uh, generous gift, as Jason said, no amount is too small, no amount is too large. You can do that today. Yes? I hear a th thundering yes throughout the globe. <laughs> so we, so we uh, invite you back at 8.30 a.m. for our uh, meditation service, 9 a.m. for our worship and celebration service to be repeated live at 11 a.m. at 11.30. Wherever you are in the world, stand up. Feel the frequency of this song that I wrote with Tim McAfee Lewis called I Forgive Me. With the full awareness that we don't want to live in the past. Are you aware that shame and blame and regret and guilt are not spiritual practices? They're not. <laughs> they inhibit you from growing and glowing for God. So now it's the time for us to let go of the shame. The past behind. The past is behind. I see. I see a new. I'm ready, I'm ready for my, my change, my transformation, my unfoldment. I'm ready, I'm ready for my change. Put a smile on your face. I Listen, forgive I forgive me. me. I, forgive I forgive them. Everything that I've been holding, that I've been holding on to. I let go. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm available for the great transformation that's occurring through us right now. I'm ready. I'm ready. It is from this awareness that we give thanks to the great God of the universe that is everywhere in its fullness, the all as all called by millions of names. We stand with a great inner preparedness for more good than we've ever imagined. That we may anchor the realm of ever expanding good on earth as it is in the heart mind of the infinite. And it's all happening right now. No inhibitions now in and as our life. We allow it to be so, and so it is. Amen. Have a beautiful and bright day. It's good.